Hello, it is Hoovy and Monday, and today I will be talking about The Caretaker, the sixth episode of Series 8 of Doctor Who. The opening sequence features Clara negotiating her adventures with the Doctor with her relationship with Danny. This was one of my favourite opening sequences for a while. It had great pace, it was very funny, Jenna Coleman was fantastic. Then one day Clara enters the TARDIS, but the Doctor says he can't travel with her today. He has to go undercover, but he won't tell her where. So Clara goes into school, and she meets up with Danny. We see Courtney, the student who we have seen before, but uh, she's more important in this episode. In a teacher's meeting in the staff room, they are introduced to the new temporary caretaker, John Smith. He's also sometimes known as the Doctor. Credits. Clara quite understandably asks what he is doing undercover in her school. Are the kids safe? He says they will be if she lets him get on. Elsewhere, a policeman has found some coal heel kids bunking off and he sends them back up to school. He hears a noise coming from a dilapidated building and goes to investigate thinking that it's more kids, but it is in fact an alien, which kills him. Back at Coal Hill, Clara is teaching Pride and Prejudice. The Doctor appears outside the window at the top of a ladder and they argue when he says she has got something wrong on the board. At the end of class, Clara goes to find the Doctor again and finds him out in the playground working on some electrics. Danny and another teacher called Adrian are talking to him. The Doctor and Danny's relationship is quite fractious from the start. We know that the Doctor doesn't like soldiers. He insists that Danny is a PE teacher. At the end of the scene, Clara goes off with Adrian because he wants to talk to her about Shakespeare and the Doctor incorrectly assumes that he is her boyfriend. He looks like somebody they both know. So the Doctor has been putting up lots of green flashing baubles around the school. He goes back to his TARDIS, which is in the storeroom. Courtney enters, needing paper towels, and wants to know what the box is. There is a great exchange between them. I love this exchange. Courtney could be a pretty annoying character, but in this scene and later on in the episode, I found her very likeable. I loved when she introduced herself as a disruptive influence. I loved when they shook hands. There was a great spark, a great dynamic, a great chemistry between them. It was a good introduction to that character, I thought. Clara enters, accusing him of endangering the school, which is, of course, the case. He shows her a scan of the alien we saw earlier, which is a Skovox Blitzer. It's a killing machine. It's there because of all the Artron emissions in the area. He doesn't tell Clara about his previous and very important connection to the school. He says that sooner or later the Skovox Blitzer will creep from its hidey hole and some military idiot will try and attack it. In the TARDIS, he shows Clara his new watch, which will turn him invisible. His plan is to lure the Skovox Blitzer to the school using non-threatening alien tech. He doesn't want the alien to scan him, so he is going to be invisible. Using the green baubles, which are quanodyne generators, he will send it off in the time vortex to billions of years in the future. Then there's a little exchange where they're both talking across purposes about Clara's boyfriend. The Doctor thinks they are talking about Adrian. Clara thinks they are talking about Danny. The Doctor says he likes her boyfriend and Clara is very happy and leaves. Clara bumps into Danny outside. They arrange to meet up tomorrow night after parents' evening. Danny is pretty suspicious of this new caretaker. Now it is night and the Doctor is putting his plan into action. Danny notices a couple of the green flashy bauble things when he is leaving school and removes a couple of them. Clara returns to the storeroom wanting to find the Doctor to help him. The invisible Doctor has now led the Blitzer to the school assembly hall. Visible again, he notices that a couple of the generators aren't online and is then cornered by the Blitzer. Danny enters with the other two generators and is shot at. The Doctor sends the Blitzer into the time vortex as Clara arrives. The Doctor is pretty annoyed that Danny has removed the generators. He says that the Blitzer has only gone three days into the future now instead of a billion years. Danny is kind of confused. He thinks that Clara is from space. My favourite quote of the episode was, you're a space woman, you said you were from Blackpool. She makes an extremely lame excuse about them putting on a play. Danny, of course, doesn't buy it at all and thinks that the Doctor is her dad. The Doctor is going to erase his memory, but Clara says he can't because because Danny is her boyfriend and she loves him. Ah. Clara explains the Doctor to Danny. She says that he is an alien, they travel through time and space together, and they show him the TARDIS. When Danny and Clara leave, the Doctor says to her, you have explained me to him, but you haven't explained him to me. Back at Clara's flat, Clara has told Danny more about the Doctor. He now knows about his Adrian-looking incarnation and his Scottish caretaker-looking incarnation. Danny wonders why she goes off and travels with the Doctor, how she can have kept the secret from him, and who she is when she is with the Doctor. The next day, just before parents' evening, Clara gives Danny the invisibility watch so that he can eavesdrop on her and the Doctor in the TARDIS and learn how she is when she is with him. It's a perfect plan. In the TARDIS, the Doctor is building something. He knows that Danny is there. Danny knows that he knows that Danny is there. 
and so he reappears. There is then an argument between them. Danny takes issue with the Doctor being a Time Lord. He says that he is a soldier, but the Doctor is an officer. Danny leaves and Clara goes after him. Then Courtney appears and the Doctor shows her the TARDIS. She wants to go and travel space with him, but he says not right now. Whilst parents' evening is going on elsewhere, the Skovox Blitzer reappears in the assembly hall a little bit early. The Doctor realises and goes to get Clara. Both Clara and Danny leave parents' evening and go off with the Doctor. The Doctor wants Clara to lead the alien away from parents' evening and towards the TARDIS so that he can use his new machine. And he tells Danny to go away. Clara leads the Blitzer to the Doctor and he uses his machine to make it think that he is its superior. He tells it to terminate, but it goes to self-destruct, which he doesn't want. He needs a diversion. And Danny causes one by sort of flipping over it and causing it to try and shoot him again. Then the Doctor manages to abort the self-destruct and just gets it to stop instead. It turns out that Danny had been following Clara all along using the invisibility watch. A little understanding is reached where Danny knows that the Doctor is angry because he wants Danny to be good enough for Clara. The Doctor says saving the world is a good start. Then the Doctor takes Courtney Woods to go and dispose of the Blitzer in space. She gets a bit sick. Back at Clara's flat, Danny makes Clara promise to tell him if the Doctor ever pushes her too far. He knows men like him, he has served under them. And then the episode ends with the dead policeman being interviewed by Chris Addison. He says they are at the afterlife, the promised land, the nether sphere. Missy appears but is a bit busy, and then the episode ends with a bit of an anticlimax again. So what did you think of this episode? I really liked it. It wasn't my favourite of the series, but I sort of think of it as a return to form after last week. It had good pace, it was funny, there was a lot going on. Jenna Coleman and Peter Capordi were great this episode, as was Sam Anderson. I loved Sam Anderson in this episode, he has quite a naturalistic, sort of laid-back kind of style, and I find that contrasts well with Jenna Coleman's more animated, excitable, hyper kind of nature. One of my favourite things about these three characters at the moment, Clara, Danny, the Doctor, is that I don't feel like I'm being pushed to liking one of them over the others at the moment, if that makes sense. I don't feel like I'm being pushed into believing that one of them is right and the others are wrong. I feel like everybody is slightly right and slightly wrong. Sometimes in Doctor Who and just in general storytelling I feel like I'm being signposted away. This is the character that I should be rooting for and this is the character who I should dislike. Whereas at the moment in Doctor Who I feel like I'm being left more to my own devices in that respect, and I like that. For instance, with Courtney, she is managing to be both likeable and annoying, and I feel like I'm being given the choice at the moment about how I find her. Also, I'm liking that the overarching plot, the whole nether sphere missy thing, isn't too distracting or complicated or confusing. I think there's a fine line between getting your audience to be curious and interested and getting your audience a bit lost and at the moment I think we're on the right side of that line so that's good. So yeah I like this episode, I'm relatively happy, I'm looking forward to seeing Courtney again, I'm happy we finally got to see the Doctor and Danny interact and overall I think it went how I expected it to and I'm looking forward to the next episode. Which is Kill the Moon episode 7, it is written by Peter Harness, directed by Paul Wilmshurst and guest starring Hermione Norris. Synopsis time! In the near future the Doctor and Clara arrive on a decrepit shuttle making a suicide mission to the moon. Crashing on the lunar surface, they find a mining base full of eviscerated corpses, spider-like creatures scuttling in the dark, and a terrible dilemma. When Clara turns to the Doctor for help, she gets the shock of her life. Is the man she's trusted so long really a hero after all? Is he even her friend? Shish. So what did you think about this episode? What did you think about Clara, Danny, and the Doctor? And what did you think about Courtney? I hope you have a good day and see you tomorrow.